All right, everyone, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. And today we're going to be talking about the bowling stance and what you should be thinking about. Stay tuned. So Brad, the bowling stance is extremely important because it's the start. It's, you know, a good stance is setting the foundation for the rest of the approach. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and once we get the bowling stance down, it's very simple. But if you don't know what to think about, you may be doing something wrong and you have no idea. Sure. So we're going to talk to you guys how we would build a bowling stance starting from the feet and working our way up. Yeah, so let's, let's take a look at the feet. What do the feet really do? Well, the feet uh, really drive the angle of the body and the hips, right? right? So, so taking a look at how we can stand as far as like the width of your feet, <clears throat> honestly, there's some preference here. If it helps you be a little bit more balanced with how far yeah. wide you stand. If you want them a little bit spread out, that's okay. If you like to be like right here, that's okay. I would not be like this. No, just not a little bit of a gap or together, right. but more importantly, like the angle of your feet. So, um, if you're trying to play a little bit straighter on the lane, we want those feet to be a little bit more closed, a little bit more pointed to the left, uh, because that keeps our hips a little bit more pointed to the left and the, the angle of our body closed, starting with the feet. On the opposite end, if we want to try and throw a hook, we're gonna send that right foot back behind the left foot and that's gonna allow our hips to open. That way, when you take that step, that right foot's gonna be a little bit more open, and the ball's gonna be yeah, able to drop Yeah, and even by. on your approach, so go back to your stance, you can see how his hips are open right here. They're pointed to the right, and when you square up the feet, so square up that right foot, your hips are now closed. So that's automatically setting the pace for the direction of where you're gonna be throwing yeah, the ball. Yeah, if you're not paying attention to your feet and you're trying to hook a ball and you're standing like this, well then, uh, you know, you're going to yeah. run into some issues well, potentially. Yeah, so. exactly. And if you're doing that, you'll have to at some point go from a closed position to the open position. Yeah, for sure. So th that's kind of the feet. It just kind of like dictates uh, the angle of our body. Yeah. Uh, and the next is the knees. What do, you, what do you got for the knees, Kyle? Yeah, so it's really simple. All we want to do is in the bowling stance, we want to be in an athletic position. So when I get set up here, I don't want to be straight legged because right now I'm in a very unstable position. If you wanted to, mm -hmm. you could knock me over really easily. And at some point when I start to go into my approach, I'm gonna have to bend my knees because we're walking. And vice versa, we don't wanna be really cramped down here. I mean, I've seen some guys oh, <laughs> really yeah. get down here. Uh, but we just want a, a slight bend in our knees, nice and easy, nothing too complicated. So the next position is gonna be the ball placement. Now this is a very important this part of the stance. One, so yeah. there's two things we need to be talking about here. We need to talk about the uh, height of where we're holding the ball and then left to right where our ball placement is. So I think first, ball height. I want that ball somewhere around the belt buckle. We don't wanna to be too high because this kind of creates an uncontrollable momentum into the swing that's hard to It It also repeat. makes the, the distance between, of the push away higher and it's just more that has to you know, develop, develop yeah. and harder to control. Absolutely, and we don't <clears throat> want it too low because if we're holding the ball way down here, it's hard, we, have, we don't have any momentum from the swing. So we're gonna have to use some muscle in order to pull that ball up to create a high back swing. So somewhere around the belt buckle height um, is ideally where we wanna go. And if you need to go a little bit higher or a little lower, that's okay. But try to stay away from, from the, the extremes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then we got the, the lateral, the left or right. <clears throat> and so we kinda want the ball to be in between the shoulder and the chin somewhere. That's that gives you a good balance with your body. It's kind of connected to your body. If we get to holding it way out here, that can create some tension here. It also changes the, the, the angle of the swing going back. Yeah. So if it starts way out here, the first direction it's gonna go is directly behind your back. Right, it's gonna wanna go this way. You can't throw it from back there, so then it's gonna redirect all the way around here, and then it's gonna be hard to control where it goes. Kind of the same thing with uh, starting it way in there is the opposite. It's going to redirect way away from the body. Yep. Once the ball gets out here, it kind of disconnects from the body. If your body goes away from it and the ball is going, it could create some issues. It's also going to redirect uh, and, and can cause some inconsistencies. Um, and so we, just like the height, we kind of want to stay away from the extremes of left and right. Uh, we kind of want to keep that ball tucked between the shoulder and the chin. That's going to give you the good balance along coupled with uh, the height being right next to your belt, uh, that should give you a, a comfort 
that's going to allow you to kind of create the same thing. Yeah, over ideally, over. if I get set up from behind here, you want to get to the point to where I don't want the ball to be too far to the right. We don't want to be able to see the ball. So if you're videotaping yourself and you can see the ball to the right, bring that ball into the left because it's probably not right in front of your chin and shoulder. So you'll know when I get set up here, you can't see the ball right now yep. from, from the back view. Yep. So that's a good way to test yourself, you know, laterally left to right, is it, is it in the right position? Yep. So now we're going to talk about the head and kind of the spine tilt. So we talked about having that athletic position. We just want the head to be right over our feet. We don't want to be hunched over back here or we don't want to be too far back because now my lower body and my upper body are disconnected. They're, they're on two different planes. My lower body is in front. My upper body's back, mm -hmm. and then nice and then the opposite for this one. So we just want our head to be right over our feet, and you know spine tilt pretty neutral, maybe a little bent forward. Uh, but like I said, just the idea of the stance is just creating an athletic position. Yeah, and something that you can repeat. You don't. Just, we said the word extreme. Just kind of stay away from the extremes and kind of all those. You know, hips being like super wide open, body being super lean forward. Try and keep everything within a little bubble. That way it's just comfortable and it's something that you can repeat every shot, especially when you're bowling a lot of games that day. Yeah, so let's throw a shot here. And I'm just going to get, just so we can get, get a shot on camera. So I'm going to go through my steps here. First, I'm going to be talking about the feet. So for me, I'm gonna be hooking the ball a little bit here. So I'm dropping, my foot's not, my feet aren't gonna be square. I'm dropping the right foot back. I got a slight bend in my knees. Ball, around belt buckle height, between my chin and my shoulder. So in this position right here, you're just comfortable. Yeah, I'm very stable. Knees are like, nice, yep, feet are in everything's good. And then you just go. Yep, and then once we get in this position, it's about going. Okay, so there you have it. Really simple. So some basic concepts to think about when trying to create a good stance and being in an athletic position. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video, and we want to send you guys a free gift. All you have to do is click the link in the description or the comments for more details on how to get the free gift. And make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, and make sure you're following us on Instagram, Brad and Kyle. Thank you, guys.